Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to go through and show you every single book on my physical TBR. Now, this is just physical. I'm not going to include the books on my Kindle. I'm not going to include all of the audiobooks. I'll give you numbers, but it's not as interesting just to throw up a bunch of pictures on the screen here. So, only the physical ones. We'll go through this whole thing. So, first off, I'm going to take Mr. Plant down. Hello, Mr. Plant. Uh, and put him in a safe space for a few minutes. First off are the books that are too tall to fit in the shelves here. Saga, Volume 11. Dollhouse. Paperbacks from Hell by Grady Hendrix. Then my mass market paperbacks, I have Heliconia Spring by Brian Aldous. And Oath of Gold by Elizabeth Moon. Then rounding out my top shelf, my horror reads. The Return by Rachel Harrison. Vox by Christina Dulcher. Bad Cree by Jessica Johns. Follow Me to Ground by Sue Rainsford. Horrid by Katrina Lino. Leech by Hyron Ennis. Haunted West Virginia by Patty Wilson. Spurman Monsters, which is a short story collection. Darkness by Christopher Crovitan. Lovecraft Country by Matt Ruff. Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin. Next up, the fiction shelf. This doesn't really have any theme to it other than everything on the shelf I've bought for myself, and they're all fiction, mostly fantasy, but all fiction. The Gargoyle by Andrew Davison. Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. An Absolute Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. Cassiel's Servant by Jacqueline Carey. The Sunlit Man by Brandon Sanderson. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger. The Beautiful by Renee Audier. Small Favors by Aaron Craig. The Testing Trilogy by Joelle Carboneau. The Keeper Six by Kate Elliott. Creatures of Wanton Rune by Molly Tanzer. When We Were Orphans by Kazu Ishiguro. Gamer Girl by Marie Mancusi. The Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. And The Narrow Road Between Desires by Patrick Rothfuss. Next section is my nonfiction reads. Stamps from the Beginning by Ibram X. Kendi. When Hitler Took Cocaine and Lenin Lost His Brain. History's Unknown Chapters by Giles Milton. Fire Shut Up in My Bones by Charles M. Blow. Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. Betty Davis by Laura Moser. The Gift of Fear by Gavin De Becker. Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay, Disfigured by Amanda LaDuck, and The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. Next section is series continuations, and this is, this is probably my biggest section. The Skyward Light Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson and Jancy Patterson. This is a novella collection. Bloodless Ties and Ruthless Ends by Kate Wismere. Morning Star and Iron Gold by Pierce Brown. The Blood of Elves and the Time of Contempt by Andrzej Sapowski. Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. Defiant by Brandon Sanderson. Song of the Risen God by R.A. Salvatore. Cage of Dreams by Rebecca Schaefer. The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna. Soul of Ash and Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The sun is coming out. Sorry for the lighting change. Sword and Pin by Rachel Kane and Mad Adam by Margaret Atwood. Next section is Book Box Books, The Kingdom of Sweets by Erica Johansson, The Future by Naomi Alderman, Let Us Descend by Jesmyn Ward, The House of Ashes by Stuart Neville, Girl Among Crows by Brendan Veo, The Lost Ones by Anita Frank, Lingoon by Ah Jang, the Uninvited by Cat Winters. And the last and final section are the books that were on this shelf last year that I just never got around to read, excluding the series continuations, because those were on the series continuation shelf. The Ones We Burn by Rebecca Mix. The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. The Recovery Agent by Janet Ivanovich. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Jubilee by Margaret Walker, 
And last and probably least, The Haunted Vagina by Carlton Mellick III. And that's all the books that I'm going to talk about today. You may have noticed some books that I didn't pull off the shelf. There are nine books on here published by St. Martin's Press. The boycott is still on. For those of you who aren't aware and want to know, a while ago, one of St. Martin's Press employees who works with influencers said something extremely racist and Islamophobic on their social media account. Content creators are currently boycotting St. Martin's Press until they address this situation with this employee in a satisfactory manner, which they have yet to do. We're not telling anybody that you're not allowed to read books published by St. Martin's Press. We're not telling you that you can't buy books from authors published by St. Martin's Press. The only part of this boycott is that creators are not featuring books by St. Martin's Press on their channels. That's it. Read whomever you want. Buy as many St. Martin's Press books as you want. They're just not getting advertising from influencers or creators. That is all. That is all for this video today. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know down in the comments below which of these books you think I should prioritize reading. If I get enough responses, I will probably make a video where you guys choose my TBR. But the goal for this year is all of these need to be gone minus one shelf. I'm allowed to have one shelf of books at the end of the year. I won't put any new books on this shelf. That is a separate and currently empty set of carts off to the side of the camera that you can't see. So anything I purchase from the time that I've created this video to the time that I remake this video next December in 2024 will not go on this shelf. Thank you for being here. Thank you for dealing with this video in the, the sun. I usually have better lighting, but I don't really have any other way to put this. So I apologize for the lighting. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.